So Joe, tell us a little bit about what direct sales are and, and network marketing for those of us that maybe have never heard of it before. You know, Scott, um, direct sales and network marketing is basically a vehicle of distribution. It was started way back in uh, the early 1900s, and it started to take hold maybe in, in the early in early 1940s. And now it's become self-evident because of the success that industry is growing. It's been doubling the last three or four years, particularly because of the emerging markets. So basically what, what uh, network marketing is all about is in direct sales is it actually takes the product from the vendor or the manufacturer through the network marketing or direct sales company and it distributes the products through actual distributors that are marketing the product so you're basically cutting out all the middlemen uh, that participate in majority of the products that are sold around the world so instead of the company uh, spending or investing money in uh, in advertising, uh, in uh, marketing, they pay the distributors for doing that. My background is a grocery store manager. So I'm very familiar with the manufacturer and then a distributor and then a sub-distributor and then a warehouser and then a truck arrives with the product and then we take it and we put it onto the shelf. So what you're talking about is all those different levels, because someone could create, you know, they could, coconut water is something that I like, and it always comes from Thailand or the Philippines. So obviously it's made there, it's put into a warehouse in Thailand or the Philippines, and then it's shipped by container to someplace in North America, and then it's shipped by truck somewhere else in North America. And, and then distribution points. Distribution points. So it could be to a national warehouse, and then it could be to a, um, regional warehouse and then it could be to a city warehouse and then and then of course it could be to a distributor's warehouse and then that person takes it and drives around town and drops off cases here and there or it goes to in my case with the chain of grocery stores it would go to our main warehouse and then get shipped from there to all the different stores correct so every part of that part of distribution everyone's getting paid down that chain whereas network marketing and direct sales it's actually going from that company right to the distributor who could be the end consumer or to the end consumer through a distributor. So it's a more effective means of distribu distribution and it compensates that distributor for expanding that market. So uh, the great part of network marketing and why I got excited about this industry was that we're not only able to market great products and highly effective products, but we're also able to de develop our own distribution team, which the company compensates us for doing that. And the great part of that is it's residual. So once you've sold a customer once, particularly for selling a consumable, you get paid over and over and over again, not just through your own personal customers, but through the team or network marketing organization that you developed, not just locally, but globally for most companies nowadays. Cool. Great. So in this section, we're going to be talking a little bit more in a little, a little bit more detail about direct sales and network marketing. We're going to be talking about the leadership qualities that you that are required, the learning that you may need to go through. We're going to be talking about the five most important considerations when you get into direct sales and network marketing. We're also going to be looking at uh, perhaps some activities that you can do to to see if how this fits with you and uh, and your personality and, and what you want in terms of the goals for your life. So that's what we're going to start covering in this section and we're going to start right now. <laughs>